Kitty, eating them home. Hugs, 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 hugs. Yes, please. Can I hug you? Just... <laughs> Just be cute if I hug you, okay? <laughs> That's a resounding yes. Then... Oh, I missed you. I missed you so much. Every second of work, I was thinking about you. About how cute you are. About how those 3,000 pictures of you on my phone. And just how adorable those little ears entail justice. <laughs> oh. I was thinking about how much I wanted to um hug you and nuzzle you. And give you lots and lots of kisses on the cheek. Which I think I'll do that right now, if you don't mind. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you hungry? You want me to make you something to eat? I'll make you anything you want. What do you want? Chicken, turkey, pheasant. And not to be stereotypical, but I can also make you some fish if you'd like. I'll get you anything you want. I would serve you my own flesh, if that's what you want. Although, probably wouldn't taste good. I'd probably just eat like an addict. <laughs> like, as someone who's helplessly addicted to how cute you are. Like, look at you. You're so cute. You're gonna give me a freaking heart attack. How can someone so cute be so dastardly diabolical? You have nine lives and you're going to take away one of them. And that's going to be my life. With your overwhelmingly cuteness. Well. <laughs> I cannot think of a better way to go out though. Dying of your cuteness. <laughs> oh please. My darling. Before your cuteness kills me, grant me one final piece of wisdom. Please, I have to know. Tell me, who's the cutest in the world? <laughs> no, not me. It's you, cutie. As if anyone says they're cuter, I'll gladly remove them from this world and as they soil. <laughs> but... Anyway, so, how was your day? I hope I made it better by coming home. <laughs> That's good. I always want to make your day better. You do the same for me, then I guess it's only best that if I give the payback. After all. But, but, I missed you. I'm pretty sure I told you that already. It's what I say every time, so I can't imagine I didn't. But I wanted to ask, um... Did you miss me? <laughs> oh, kitty. That's so sweet of you. You're just adorable. You're super sweet, too. What don't you have? Other than the right to leave without me. <laughs> But other than that, why? You know, even though I was at work, every chance I got, I made sure to check up on you. On the cameras. I know it doesn't have to be said, but you were looking very cute. Well, it does have to be said, because your eminence cuteness deserves to be stated. And it's obvious, even if I don't say it, it's what I mean it. And I said you were looking very cute, but you still look cute currently. As well as, of course. <laughs> you were looking outside a lot, though. Did you want to go out? We can go, but you can't leave my side. <laughs> oh, you can't go out by yourself? You're too cute. If it, the creeps come out there and they'll see and they'll try to take you from me. The first chance they get. And we can't have that. I'll be buried six feet under the cold. 
the hard ground before I met anyone touch a single hair on your adorable, perfect little head. No, not even the barbers can take care of that. But like I said, baby, no one's going out without me, okay, kitty? You'll get snatched up. I snatched you up first, fair and square. No one else gets that privilege. But did you want to go out for a walk? No. Oh, you're so sweet. Are you saying it just so I don't have to worry about people t take you from me? Just so I didn't have to fight off people with a flamethrower. <laughs> Thank you so much for thinking of me. Thank you so much, kitty. I love you. I love you so much. Love you so much that I love you even if you weren't cute. Which is blasphemous for me to say. I know you. Because you, you, how could you be a cutie like you if you possibly couldn't be anything less than the cutest kitty cat in the entire world? But I love you for more than just that, my darling love. I love how well behaved you are. I love how much you trust me with your safety. I know it's not easy to trust a person, which is why it means so much to me that you trust me. If I tell you something is too dangerous to get away from it and come close to me, you don't argue and just obey. And that touches me deep within my heart. Now I know that I can be excessive with my urge to protect you sometimes. And I assume you think so too. But that doesn't change what I said. Besides, what if I'm excessive? I'm better safe than sorry. Especially when I'm protecting the most precious thing in the entire world. You, my darling little cinnamon bun. And I love how clingy you can be with me sometimes. And how much you're okay with me being clingy with you. Like we're cuddling in the bed as we drift off to sleep. I like your reaction when I hug you. Especially when I'm hugging you and I suddenly hug you even tighter. It's so cute. But I said, I love you for more than just your cuteness. I love you for everything. Because you are my everything. <laughs> but of course. That's not to say that you aren't incredibly ridiculous, unbelievably cute. Because you are. And if I opened up a dictionary and looked under the word cute, I'm sure it'd be a picture of you. <laughs> then I have to find uh, whoever made the dictionary and interrogate them to figure out where they got the picture from. <laughs> but you don't have to worry about that, kitty. You can leave all that stuff to me. Okay. You can just focus on being incredibly adorable. <sighs> See you already. <laughs> so cute. You're such a lovable, lovable little kitten. <laughs> you know, I'm glad to have you in my life. You're the most perfect thing to come home to. And do you know what else you're perfect for? Scritching behind the ears. <laughs> Can I? Can I scratch you behind your ears a little? Oh, thank you. <sighs> How does that feel, baby? Good? That's good. Because you deserve the best. Only the best scratches for the best kitty in the whole wide world. Random thought, though. But you know how they said Nekos of nine lives. Got me thinking. If that's true, I would want to spend all nine of them with you. I want you to spend all nine of them with me. Do you think that's unreasonable of me to ask? I can't imagine letting you spend your life with anyone else. Instead of me. My life was a blur before you, and 
It was all just a mountainous blur. You finally gave me something to look forward to. I know I said it already, but I do love coming home to you. I only say it so much because it's so inertialized. Because it's such a core part of my life and myself. I love coming home to your little puppy dog eyes. Well, that might be a weird thing to say for a neko. Oh, kitty cat eyes? Is that a term? Kitty eyes? I don't know. But I'm sure there's one thing I'm forgetting here. <laughs> but the point is your eyes and your expressions are supremely cute and precious. And I also love coming home and getting to talk to you. I really like talking to you. And it can be about anything, really. Nothing at all. I just like getting the attention from you. I know from both sides that I might just look like I'm the one giving you attention. And it goes both ways in this case. And I like it when you look at me. I love your little feline eyes. I love getting home and being able to tell you that I love you. And by the way, I love you. I love loving you. And I want you to love me. And I want to love you for all of your nine lives. Is that so much to ask for? I just want to be with you forever. Forever is a very long time, I know. But I'm certain I want to be with you forever. Who's going to spoil who you and I'm not around? Who's going to tell you how cute and adorable and how precious you are? Which you are. By the way, cutie, you're cute and adorable and precious, and I want to tell you every day. So, I will keep telling you every day. You're mine. You're my kitty. I'll keep protecting you forever. I don't care what the world or fate has to say about it. I'll love you forever, even after all of this. I still love you. Just as much as the day I met you. The day that I met you. I loved you very, very much. It's weird. Before I never figured love at first sight would be real. But when I met you, I knew at first sight I would kill or die for you. Sorry if the conversation took a dark turn, honey. But whatever, that's not broad. There's a lot for us to be happy about. And I think... Because I have you, you have me. And now come on. You still in something that you wanted to eat. <laughs> come on. I'll make you anything. Because you're my cute, cute, one-of-a-kind kitty. Mm. Hey guys. Hey girls. Um, because in this audio, you can let me know anything you think is fine. Um, I do have a... um. Discord server, if you guys didn't join down below. Um, it'll be in the description. Um, if you guys don't know, I talk in it pretty frequently. <laughs> if you guys don't like, you know, hang out and talk, maybe be stupid. That's all you guys. <laughs> but my socials are down below, along with the script creator. Crider? The script creator's writer is down below. But as always, if you did enjoy this audio, and if you're listening to this as you're about to fall asleep, sure do hope you have a great sleep tonight, as always. Bye-bye.